Hi, my name is Ibu Kon Shaba. I'm a lawyer and I practice in Lagos, Nigeria. Today's topic we're going to cover being a creative and protecting your rights so that you can secure the bag. So let's start. What rights do you have and how do you protect those rights? Under Nigerian law, we have four rights that you can protect which are considered intellectual property. That is, you created it from your mind. It's not tangible. It's just it's intangible property basically, but the law recognizes that it has value and can make you money. So the first right is copyright. Copyright simply means that you're an original creator of something that is in a fixed format. Either it's a picture, it's a video, it's music, it's sound, it's art. You can protect that under the law. The law sees it as an automatic right for you, meaning that once it's out and if you can be identified as the owner, that is protected. We have the Nigerian Copyright Commission, which is the regulator for this. And what the law says is, you don't have to register this right. However, you can deposit a copy of it, Nigerian Copyright Commission, and they'd give you a notice basically saying, look, I own this and I've registered it. Don't touch it without paying me. Your next right is a patent. A patent means that you want to invent something. It's either a process, um, it's a code, it's a chemical combination, it's something unique and it's new and you need to use it to create something else. How the law protects that is that it offers you a 20 year right to use it exclusively. So either you're, or you're first in the stages of developing it or it's already developed and you're trying to monetize what you've worked for. That you can just go to the trademark patents and designs registry, register that and nobody else can use it without paying you. There's a clause though, if you go out and talk about it and you just tell somebody else, the right is out there, you can no longer protect it. The third right that we have is a trademark. A lot of us use this already, we're used to it. So you've seen big brands have a name, a logo, a symbol, a color, and you can, once you see it, you know that this is this. I don't want to give examples, but you already know that once you see that, it's already attached to a brand that you can also have for yourself meaning that you're an artist you like the way your name is you like the way the color is and you don't want anybody else to use it this right can be registered as well and you can renew it every seven years and nobody else except you can use it the fourth right is not very popular it's just an industrial design meaning that the law says that if you develop a bottle, for example, the Coca-Cola bottle, which is so unique, and you can use it exclusively for a short period of time as well. These four rights can be secured under the law, and you're always encouraged to register your rights. Let's get into why you should actually do it. So, recently the Nigerian government got into an agreement with the Africa Development Group, and they are creating a platform where creatives can register a wallet and if you have an IP right that I've already listed, you can go on that platform and sell it so somebody else can use your work of art and pay you for it, and you're making money. So those are incentives to actually make sure you register your trademark, your copyright, your patent, and your industrial design, okay? The other thing is that you can get royalty. So if you're an artist, you're familiar with this. Either you create videos, music, pictures as well, as long as you're alive, you, somebody else can pay you for using your work. So I know that in Nigeria, it's not the most popular that artists are paid for using their songs at, at um, parties or in videos. However, you should be paid. And if you have a registered right, you can prevent other people from using your rights without paying you. So royalties are a good incentive to register your intellectual property. You can actually make money while you're alive and 70 years after you're dead. What other incentive do you need to go today and register your IP rights? Um, of course there are challenges because we live in Nigeria, we know these challenges, but I don't want you to be discouraged. Think about it globally. Somebody can stumble on your work and want to work with you and because you have a registered right, you are good to go. You don't have to then, at that moment, start wondering what next do I have to do. My advice, of course, is always talk to a lawyer. I'm not your personal lawyer, so this is just a tip and not legal advice. However, make sure to always check with a legal practitioner. 
I say that you think you're saving money by doing it yourself, but you're actually saving a lot more money in the future by talking to a legal practitioner. I hope these tips were very helpful for you and I hope that you liked it. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend. I want to hear from you as well, so make sure you're in the comment section asking questions or leaving me ideas on what you think. See you in the next video and bye.